People began receiving relief payments on Friday, a day after the cabinet finalized its COVID-19 relief package. Workers who are self-employed or don't have a fixed employer are eligible for up to 30,000 NT paid directly into their bank accounts. An estimated 130,000 eligible people who don't have a bank account will get a check in the mail instead. They wait by the post office, eager to update their passbooks. Just yesterday, the Ministry of Labor finalized COVID relief of up to 30,000 NT for labor. Now, this morning, quite a few people have already been notified that their bailout is in their bank account. Some recipients posted proof online, mobile banking screen grabs that show that the cash went in early Friday morning. But the labor bailout isn't for everyone who works. It's open to workers who are self-employed or without one fixed employer and who are members of a trade union. They must have earned no more than 408,000 NT in 2019 and must not have recently applied for any other subsidies of the same nature. Those whose monthly insured salary is no more than 24,000 NT will receive 30,000 NT. Those who exceed 24K can get 10,000 NT. Those who applied for and received a bailout the year before will get their latest payout automatically as early as Friday. Those who didn't will need to apply between June 7th and July 5th on the official website of the Bureau of Labor Insurance. An estimated 1.85 million people will benefit from the funds. I would say this is pretty timely. There really are times when you just need a sum of money. Across the country, there are 130,000 eligible people who don't have a bank account with which to receive relief. To these people, the cabinet has issued postal money orders to be delivered door to door. But postal workers fear that the task will raise their COVID exposure. When some of the residents come out to sign for it, they don't wear a mask because they're so used to that. So we have to remind them to protect themselves and protect us too. The post office union says the money orders will send people flocking to post offices, putting customer-facing staff at infection risk. All we got was a government memo ordering all post offices to increase our manpower. The government did not propose any measures for crowd diversion. Doesn't that run contrary to its policy of asking people to stay home? As a member of the National Epidemic Prevention Team, Zhonghua Post will courageously undertake any task assigned by the government. Face masks or face shields will be provided at all post office branches. Every person will be fully supplied. Zhonghua Post advised calling ahead of time to check the crowd size before going in to cash in a money order. It also emphasized that money orders can be cashed up to three years after they're issued. But for the low-income recipients of the latest COVID bailout, that may be too long of a wait.